so there was a global aphasia. It got quite concerning. Her follow-up scans continued to show progression. Subsequently, we did repeat spinal taps on her, and the copy number had gone up, and the local lab had a positive test. This scan now on the left is approximately two weeks later, and you can see that the PML has gotten a little bit more aggressive and a little more confluent. It's moving farther up and you can see signal change in the frontal region and this was what was starting to affect her language as well as her right-sided weakness and numbness. On the right here is when she presented in July with the first imaging of PML and then you can see now it has involved the entire region of her temporal lobe both medially and laterally. It's crossing over onto the other side through her um, splenium of her corpus callosum. It's become quite dense compared to where it was previously and is now extending anteriorly through the white matter all the way up to the frontal regions, which is affecting on the left side for both her speech. This is the motor area of speech up in this region. Back here is where you have uh, the ability to understand a receptive area of speech. And then posteriorly here is her visual cortex where she can view and be able to process information from the contralateral visual space, which would be on the right. So this is what it looked like at its worst at that point involving the entire hemisphere.